Hi Pisces, this is Rogue Tarot and I will be doing a general love reading for February 2020. So right off the bat, Pisces, I feel like some of you have gone through a breakup here. Um, there was some type of delusions here and not really perceiving things as they were in this relationship or you were not Someone was basically being someone that they were not. I feel like for some, your perception was blinded in this relationship, but you kind of woken up because with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you you knew that you were giving more into relationship than someone else here. Um, you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here with this King of Pentacles. Someone who is a father figure, it doesn't have to be, but someone who is... Um, stable with their income, their finances here. Um, they're very grounded in knowing what they want. Um, but this person does not want to be in this relationship anymore. You know, I'm blunt. I try not to be as blunt, but it's hard for me because I'm a Virgo here. Um, a relationship is ending here uh, in February for you guys, Pisces. There has been an ending to the situation here. Um, you know, the court has been cut here. Um, there could have been some type of deception here, cheating, betrayal, lies, another person with the three of swords here. With the three of swords, it means that someone else has caused us pain in our lives. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Scorpio here with death, or an Aquarius with the star. But someone wants to heal the situation with you, Pisces, and they're following their intuition on how badly they treated you. We have the four of swords in reverse here for the overall energy. So, you know, you have the three of swords, which is this heartbreak and this pain here. You have someone that's, you know, you basically have an empty bed to being the four of swords in reverse. So, Someone has taken time to heal from this situation. I feel like this could be you, Pisces, as well, and them. I feel like you guys are marrying each other here after a breakup here. Someone is changing their mind. They're done resting. They're, they're done, um, you know, going, like, reminiscing about this relationship. And they're finally wanting to make or take action here. They finally want to come and say what they have to say. And they want to heal this with the star here. They're following their intuition now with high priestess over how they treated you. Someone wasn't being who they say they were. And there could have been another person involved. It doesn't have to be. But something happened here for this relationship to end. Yeah. Someone is seeing things for what they are. I feel like it's you, Pisces. And you aggressively took action on this. Yeah, because something has, something did, it's going to take a turn for the worst here for the month of February here. Yeah, this is a brutal ending. This also could be the past situation as well, where you took brutal, brutal action. You took aggressive action here with the Knight of Swords because things have taken a turn for the worst. I feel like with the moon here, some of you Pisces knew what was going on with the situation because with the Wheel of Fortune, things did take a turn for the worst in your relationship. And there definitely was some type of liar or betrayal here. It could have been involving money with the Four of Pentacles. Someone was holding on to money here. Um, I'm going to clarify this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone doesn't, didn't want to take action here. They were being very stubborn, set in their ways, you know, not wanting to talk to you, not being clear um, on their communication here, specifically with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands in reverse. They weren't being honest with their actions here. So what I'm getting, it could be finances or someone else wasn't involved because you were giving more than what they were with the Six of Pentacles here, Pisces, I feel like. Yeah. And this person, you know, you're walking away here, Pisces. I feel like this person either is manifesting you back or you're like you're done with overly giving to a situation. And you turn your back and you're manifesting other things in your life, whether that's um, love, finances, or just focusing on yourself here, Pisces, for the month of February. Yeah, I feel like with the sixes here... Um, Someone is reminiscing about the past here, and I feel like this is your person. You know, they're kind of standing here waiting on some more ships to come in, but they're reminiscing over you, over a past love here. I feel like, Pisces, you guys might have been fed up here, but now this person wants to reconcile. They know that you were overly giving to them. You know, and I feel like for some, it could be emotionally or financially here. Um, you could have been dealing with a Cancer, another Pisces, or a Scorpio here. But they want to resurrect this relationship. They want to 
at least reunite. It could be either as friends if you will take them back, Pisces, or even more here. Because they still see you in this compassionate, emotionally nurturing, caring way, Pisces. Um, you know, you embody unconditional love and they see that, Pisces. They see that. And I, that I, I get that they feel like they took you for granted here, being the king, you know, the king of Pentacles. Sometimes they can be cocky and overly confident here. And I feel like this king of Pentacles wants to try to, you know, take his confidence and his ego down a notch to balance this out. I feel like the fact that you left Pisces took a stroke to their ego here. And they're realizing like, damn, you know, this person does not feel the passion that they once did for me, you know, because maybe this person was just too arrogant, like an arrogant asshole. And you were just like, you know what, since you want to be an asshole, I'm out. I'm out. You guys could be in a family situation. You could be living together here. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius as well. But you were like, I'm done. I'm out. But you walking away has led this person to have a humble way about themselves yeah because with the six of swords in reverse you turn your back on this pisces and start to focus on your growth your wealth your own finances your independence and your freedom here you chose to not move forward in this situation yeah you're growing pisces whatever work that you're doing in february you're gonna see an abundance of wealth or income here um as well all these pinnacles are pretty great yeah you chose to walk away from this deception, lies, or betrayal here with this seven of swords and focus on your income and your money. And whenever you're doing in the month of February or, you know, this is the last week of January, if you feel like, you know, kind of less confident in the work that you want to do, you know, try to gain confidence here and ignore that fact because whatever you're going to um, manifest in February, you're going to have, you know, double growth of abundance here. I just wanted to say that for you guys. Yeah. So I feel like this is a soulmate connection here because um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles for some. Um, you just want this person to just match your your um, your energy here. You know, you're trying to best a queen working on your pentacles. Maybe you guys got a new house without this person, a new apartment here. You broke free from this toxic attachments here with the devil in reverse here. You know, there was an ending, like I said, the beginning of this video. And you literally turned your back on this toxic situation with the devil in reverse here. Yeah, you felt like you were about to be trapped. Pisces, you know, you got out of the situation <laughs> and just at the right time. Um, but this person feels stuck without you and they want to work hard and trying to win you back here, Pisces. I'm definitely want to see what this three of swords is about. Yeah. I feel like for some, this could be honestly a twin flame or even a karmic soulmate, a karmic relationship here. I see a lot of pinnacles here. I feel like what I'm getting is that I don't really see another person, but it definitely could be, guys. But I feel like no matter what, this person wants to come towards you because I feel like when you left this person, he went back out there or she. And this person realized that there's nothing out there but you. Like, you represent all of the energies here. You know, Empress is representing the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, um, Queen of Swords. You know, this is everything that someone could want in a person and this person sees that in you which is why they want to work hard and give you an offer here they know that you left um they know that you walked away here i feel like more so the situation is involving money here but again there could have been another person here and you walked away here you know you were disappointed and walked away let's clarify the star but i feel like this person want yeah this person wants to come in and heal the situation with you they want a new chapter you know when this breakup happened or when it is going to happen this this is a sense of completion i feel like some of you pisces just went through an ending of a karmic cycle with this person again it could be a twin flame relationship as well yeah karma came in I feel like this is a twin flame or karma situation, Pisces. Karma came in. This person realizes what they lost. They realize that you are the only one for them. And they want to give you an offer here. They want to heal this. You know, and I feel like there was an ending here that was really burning on him, I, on the, your person. I feel like this person did not see this coming, that you were going to end this situation here. And I'm starting to get that life without you 
is very burdensome for them. Um, they can't handle it, Pisces. They just can't handle it here. Clarify the high priestess. Yeah, this person wants union with the three of cups here. But they're kind of bogged down their responsibilities and obligations for some, but not all. But I feel like they were juggling with you. I feel like they were playing games and when it came to finances here, you know, they see you, you know, growing here. They see you growing very abundantly here. And they're like, well, damn, you know, they're going back and forth with coming and joining union with you because they're like, damn, she's making all this money. She's doing her thing. And again, gender roles can be reversed, but they're trying to juggling with how to come towards you. You know, they're, they're listening to their intuition that they know this is what they want here. It was too many cards, but they want to work hard on this. I feel like they're going to need you to help them work on their pinnacles here. If you guys want, you know, you don't have to, but I feel like you guys are going to try to work hard with them because I feel like you do love this person here, Pisces. You, you just want them to work on a level that that you are working up towards. And, you know, I feel like once they do, this is going to give you a peace of mind, Pisces. You can finally rest and relax here because I feel like what they did to you was unfair with justice in reverse here. So I'm going to take some love oracle cards. All right, that's going on with Pisces, February 2020, love. All right, oh, this is really cute. Cupid's arrow, guys, yeah. Have faith, love is coming, surprise or invitation or meeting, hesitation. And then I just say, with this two of cups here, oh, God, I can't get it. <laughs> with this two of cups here, they're kind of juggling on how to come towards you. And I feel like Cupid is just going to shoot his little arrow into you and be like, boop. And um, they're going to come in because they really want this to work. They're trying to have faith. I feel like for some of it, they do believe in God. They're praying to God that you are going to take them back. You might get a surprise invitation. You might meet them at a birthday party or something. You know, but this person, like I said, they're kind of hesitating on how to come towards you because you are growing so much in February, Pisces. But this person does love you. And if you love this person, then I would, of course, take them back. All right, Pisces, I hope this helps. That was a beautiful reading. Please like, subscribe, or comment if this resonated. Thank you.